Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have brought you a new project which is based on Spring Boot and Angular. So Angular, we have uh, used uh, front end as Angular 8 and back end which is Spring Boot. All right, and we have used the uh, SQL Workbench for database. Okay, so uh, here I have already started my front end server over here with the command ng serve. All right, so even to run this actual application, I need to start my backend application, which is my Spring Boot application. So let's get to our Eclipse and start our server, means our backend application. So I'll just select over here and run this. Okay. So it will take some couple of seconds uh, to start this application. So let's wait for a few seconds so that uh, this is going to start. And it is, as you can see at the bottom or right side, it's getting launched. So here we can see the console and you'll see plenty of new things which is not understandable if you see it for the first, first time but yeah no issues. So yeah here my application is getting started and we need to wait a few more seconds to get it started. Okay so yeah my application has been started over here. So now what I'm going to do, going to do is I'll go to my browser over here this is my front end way I'm going to uh, register. Okay, I'm going to register as a new user and I'm really logging in with the new, new user work here. All right. So, and there is another option called admin. I'll show you uh, regarding the, <laughs> this uh, later. So, first I'll show you sign up. So, I'll go for sign up and I'll register with the new user. So, here we need to give some information. So, uh, name I'll give as Doremon over here because I like Doremon. So date of birth uh, randomly will just give one uh, date of birth over here and the number over here like this and the email ID. So let's say a uh, quick uh, project at uh, mail.com and over here uh, ad address I'll mention as India over here uh, username I'll, I'll give it as Doremon which is in everything in smaller case and I'll give the password as well. So here I'm going to register over here, register. So registration is successful as you can see and we have named this project as trigger. The project name is trigger. Okay. So let's log in. So Doremon, which is the username which I gave over there and the password, I'll give over here and sign. So when you, okay, here I think <laughs> I gave the wrong password over here. So let me check whether my application got started. Yes, it's got started. So sign. Okay. Okay, so let me see what is the issue. Okay, so maybe I have gave the wrong form of work here. So let's sign up again. Okay, I'll use the same credential work here. So let's say date of birth, uh, some random numbers work here. Okay, some random numbers and uh, I'll mention as uh, doremo at uh, mail.com and address uh, India and username <laughs> i'll give it as uh, doremon itself and the password anything so register so registration successful now and we are now we are going to log in work here doremon with the password so let's sign in so when you sign in it will be redirected to the home page work here and whichever the user which you have logged in that you can see the name work here doremon okay so this is a welcome message for the particular user and this is some advertisement which we have a design work here which we added and here what you can do means this particular project is going to, like just like an e-commerce website where you can able to buy electronic components electronic components and here you can see based on the category based on the category you can able to buy the products okay suppose if you want to buy a battery so i'll just click on the battery category so this is the category work here so i click on the battery work here so uh, in the battery category, I have added only one battery, which is showing, which is three volt battery. I just add this to the card. So before adding to the car, let's go to the car and see what is, what are the different items is present already in the car. So since we have registered for the first time, the card is obviously will be empty. So I'll go back and I'm going to add this battery to the card. So product added to the card. So let's go inside the car and see. So as you can see a battery product has been added to the card. Okay. So let's add a few more products over here. Let's uh, choose the another category. Let's say I'll take a sensor category over here. So in sensor category, I have added almost uh, four uh, products, which is based on sensor category. So let's say I'm going to add it 
to the car ultrasonic sensor okay ultrasonic sensor is one of the product and i'll add this uh, uh, ir sensor okay add it to the car and also i'll add one more sensor which is the uh, temperature humidity sensor or a temperature sensor so i have added total four products over here as you can see four products so but just assume that i don't like to buy a temperature sensor as of now you can directly click on this option and that will be deleted see as you can see we have only three products now and this is the total you can able to check out directly from here okay i'll just 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 check out okay means uh, you can pay and this is that actual not the uh, real uh, payment portal this is just a dummy part so where you can uh, mention any uh, upi uh, uh, just a dummy upi um, over here okay so and uh, just click on pay see the congratulation your order has been placed so whatever the order it gets placed it is gonna place work here all right so now you have ordered something like a doraemon uh bite something right so how doraemon is going to get that product so this details will be seen by admin like who are the customers as uh order bought so those information will be uh, will be received for through admin over there okay so we'll see that how the admin process is going to do and before that i'll show you one more feature over here which is edit profile suppose if you want to edit a profile like suppose if you want to change the day or uh, the uh, name or uh, date of birth or the phone number password uh, anything over here you can update over here so that is the one more option which we have provided so now i log out over here and i log in as an admin so that I can able to see what uh, who all the users has been registered means uh, ordered products over there. So I'll just log in. So admin login successful. Okay, because I have uh, gave already uh, admin option over here, and here you can see a welcome message. Hello admin. And in the admin section, as you can see, there are three features you can, you can able to see. Okay, which is add product. Suppose assume that a uh, new product which you need to add for your entire system so you can able to add a system and here what are the available categories are available okay so and also if you want to add a category you can add a new category work here got it so this is how it is all right so i'll go for add product i'll just add a new product work here since for, i'm not going to add a new category so for an existing category i'll just add a new product work here all right so let's say uh yes so before that i need an image for the product correct so uh here we have a uh, wire category which is category is one so i mentioned one over here directly okay the background color is uh color of the text is black so you're not getting seed but no problem so I just change the i'll give, give the product name as uh, um uh, okay let's take a battery so we had only one battery right so I'll just give the battery category is two work here and the battery name like five volt uh, battery. All right. So like 200, as you can see, if I edit, I can able to see, but we'll change the color later. No problem with that. So product image, I need to give an, a product image URL over there. So I can, let's say a five volt uh, uh, battery, some description work here. So I have, I gave a description or something like this. So there's a little bit tissue of the color. So I'll just give the product image. So uh, let's take image from the uh, from the internet itself. Internet itself. Why old battery work here? Okay. Let's say I'll take one image work here. Okay. So let's go. Let's go. Okay. Here we have. So I'll just take this image. Okay. I'll just take this image. So let's open this image in a new tab work here. So it's getting loaded. Just wait for a second. Okay let's open this image in new tab and we'll just copy the url okay just copy the url that's more enough uh you can directly give that url work here okay so i gave the url as you can see and i'm gonna add that product so product has been added so now what i can do i'll uh, uh go to uh battery category so as you can see five old battery has been added right so now i'll log in with an admin again so um oops let's say uh admin uh, username which i have gave earlier itself 134 is the password which i have gave and here i'll show you the view products option see 
who are the customers ordered the uh, or whatever they have ordered so that will be mentioned over here see doraemon i have ordered doraemon i have ordered a battery and ultrasonic sensor and a is sensor so for this particular address and these are the total amount of all these products doraemon okay so based on the customer ready you can even see everything work here so this is all about a simple springboard application front end everything what end are you going to see over here front end everything is angular back end is java springboard application so if you want this project just uh, you can go to the description and you'll find a mail id you can mail it us and we'll uh, have a conversation about the project and you can get this project directly okay and suppose if you want to make any new project related to blockchain ml anything means you can mail it over here and we can get in touch and we'll uh, give a project based on your requirements so we'll do project for final years everything finally a mini projects everything you can get in touch with us through mail id all right so if you have any questions you can uh, mail us or you can comment in the comment section so let's see or let's meet in our next video until then take care goodbye bye bye